guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled, Millionaire Wants X to Give Him Back Over $1 Million in Gifts After He Says He Learned That She Posed on OnlyFans. And a big shout out to Wade for sending me this article. And what we have here, guys, is just like the, the title says, you have this guy who turns out to be worth $100 million. And he's 59 years old, and he's been dating this 26-year-old woman for the last five months. And lo and behold, he finds that, well, actually, it turns out he knew that she was on OnlyFans. He just didn't know the extent of what she was doing on OnlyFans, okay? And he, it says here that he learned that she was posing. No, 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 no. Posing is small compared to what she was really doing. I, you can catch my drift on OnlyFans, right? And this article is going to go to show you guys just many things I talk about throughout my videos for the last year. I always tell you about how women can't function without attention and validation, okay? Especially the young ones in today's world where all that attention and validation is at their fingertips, Instagram, all other social media, OnlyFans, things like that. It's literally like a plant needing uh, water and sunlight. No joke. So you have this, this girl, 26 years old, in her prime, and this guy's been giving her over a million dollars in gifts, just in gifts. Okay, that doesn't mention probably vacations and fancy dinners and living the, the lifestyle of the rich and famous, so to speak. But that still isn't enough. She's still got to do her thing on OnlyFans, get the attention and validation and money and all that. On the other hand, I tell you guys all the time about don't give money to women. Don't give gifts to women. This guy's showering her with gifts, over $1 million, and he's surprised that she's uh, you know, not exactly a loyal girlfriend. Come on here. He's 59 years old. She's 26. It's a business deal. He's getting something out of it, and she's getting something out of it. I mean, come on here, you know? And... It's not, I didn't look up what this guy looks like or her, okay? I'm sure that for him to be spending the money on her, she's got to be smoking hot, okay? I'll, maybe I'll look it up later. I just don't have time. But I seriously doubt this guy has, at 59 years old has the looks and charm and charisma of, say, a George Clooney. I just think he's probably an, an ordinary guy. He's 59 years old. That's super rich. What do you expect? That's what she's there for. Nothing more. So I'm going to go into this article, guys. I'll, sh I'll, I'll share some more of my uh, opinions on this as I go through this, and we'll go from there. Uh, it starts off, a millionaire who gave his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend expensive gifts wants them back after he claims he found out she was shooting porn in his home and putting it on the website OnlyFans. During their brief five months together, Stephanie Grzanski, 26, says 59-year-old Stephen Klubeck lavished her with more than $1 million in gifts. Damn. Every time that he would take me out to Chanel or anything, he would spend over $100,000, Grzanski told Inside Edition. Klubeck is worth an estimated $100 million, a fortune he made in a timeshare industry. Grzanski said she considered him, him quite a catch. Yeah, I bet. Despite their age difference. But their relationship soured, and now the multimillionaire wants all his gifts back. Let's backtrack. She considered him a catch. Yeah, if you're worth $100 million, believe me, there's going to be plenty of people that are going to think that you're a catch. I mean, this guy could be morbidly obese, smell like garbage, and be the most atrocious person ever, but still with $100 million, he's going to attract some women. That's just how it is. You know, but come on you. Like I said, it's a business deal. And spending hundred grand on her every time they went to, to some store or anything. But you want to look at it like this. Okay, let's say he's worth $100 million. $1 million is 1% of that fortune, okay? That'd be like, let's just say you have an average Joe that has a net worth of $100,000 between a little equity in his home, some money in the bank, investments, just, just say $100,000. A lot of people could relate to that by the time they're in their 30s and definitely in their 40s, okay, if you're in the West, I hope. That'd be like, if you're worth $100,000, that'd be like $1,000 over five months, okay? So one could say, at the end of the day, is, is that really huge? No, but still, that's $1 million. And the way I look at it, you know, I could be worth $100 million, but b being who I am, I'm always going to look for the best deal. So what would be easier in this situation? This guy's worth $100 million to spend a million dollars in gifts for some piece of ass, because that's just what this is. Or this guy could literally hire 
the best looking, most high priced pro, you catch my drift there, for $1,000 an hour, three days a week, for five months. So that's $3,000 a week, times four week, that's $12,000 a month, times five months, that's $60,000, add in maybe an extra thousand or so because, you know, there's extra days, you know, in a year, if you went by weeks, there's 52 weeks in a year, but let's just say a little over $60,000 to get a pro that would do whatever you wanted three times a week, $60,000 versus $1 million for this girl for pretty much the same reason. It's kind of a no brainer. I would go with the $60,000 option with the pro, but, and obviously this guy wanted to show her up, but like, what are they doing when they're not obviously doing what they're doing? Are they sitting on the couch, watching Disney plus watching Avengers or something like that? No, this, this, she's there for one reason, one reason only for hookups or to show off to his friends. On the other hand, does she think that maybe she's the flavor of the month, so she's going to milk it for all it's worth? Who the hell knows? But the fact that this guy is surprised about this, what she was doing behind the scenes, it's, just, it's, it's laughable. Come on here. I had, to go, I had to give my little rant there, guys. goes on. Little did I know that while I was working my various homes and my children were in the home and my employees, she was shooting porn in the bathrooms and putting it on OnlyFans, Clue Book told Inside Edition. Grzanski confirmed she is a model on OnlyFans where she posts adult photos of herself for paying subscribers. She also has 1.8 million followers on Instagram. All right, when this is over, I'm going to look her up. I haven't done it already, but I'm going to, I'm, I'll be very curious to see what she looks She's got to be smoking hot to have that many followers, and l Lord knows how much she's making on uh, OnlyFans. When asked how Grzanski duped him, Klubuk said, well, you know what? We had a security failure. Jim, our security folks, did not unlock the pages on OnlyFans. We made a mistake. We saw the content that was extremely pornographic, which showed my assets used as backdrops. But Grzanski claims Klubeck knew everything about her from the beginning. Aha. She's being quoted as saying, He used to call up his friends and say, Hey, Steph's outside taking photos. I was taking a photo on a horse and I was naked. And he called up his neighbor to come and watch. He actually loved it. Grzanski said, It was kind of like a routine. Every day he would tell me how much he made on stocks and he would ask how much I made on OnlyFans. Who knows whether it's true or not. Uh, uh, Grzanski said Klubik let him let her use his private plane to shoot nude content. He loved it. He thought it was hot. Fictitious, fictitious. She's reckless. She's a menace. She's a con, Klubik said of the allegation. Grzanski's lawyer, Arthur Barron, said that by asking for the gifts back, Klubik is trying to ruin her financially. He made it clear that he has tons of money and would use that money to uh, litigate with her to keep suing her until she went broke, Barron said. Klubuk den denies the claim and says if she returns the gifts, he will donate them to charity. Well, who the hell knows what's going on here? To be honest, they sound like two peas in a pod. And they're kind of perfect for each other. But again, at the end of the day, guys, like I said before, it's a business deal. You know, she's getting what she wants out of it. He's getting what he wants out of it. End of story. It would have been easier for him, a whole lot less drama and obviously looking like an idiot, to simply, behind the scenes, hire a pro. Okay, he would have, he would have gotten the, the hottest probably in the world for his kind of money, get whatever he wanted, and no drama, no BS, and he would have saved a fortune compared to over a million dollars in gifts. I mean, come on here. But I'll be very curious to see what happens if he ends up getting them back. Who, who the hell knows where this goes? But ultimately, this is going to help her because this article is going to get people. Plenty of you guys are going to be looking at this article. I'm going to do it and see what she looks like because I'm curious. And I guarantee a lot of guys are going to then join her Instagram, probably her OnlyFans, because they saw this. You know, So she's going to make out very well. So at the end of the day, the person that really made out from this is her. But like I said, guys, all along, what I told you about attention and validation for women. It, it's like a drug. Just like plants need water and sunlight. So nobody should be, this guy should not really be surprised. Nobody should be surprised at this outcome, how it turned out. But also, guys, just go to show you what I tell you. Don't give gifts to women. Don't give money to women. The only exception is if it's your girlfriend, you've been together for a while. Okay? Like, you know, you dated for a good while, six months at least, if not close to a year, then he became exclusive. And then occasionally, on a special occasion, like maybe Valentine's Day or her birthday, then you can give a little gift. Okay? 
You don't just start having her as your girlfriend and start buying all this shit for her, okay? Now, this guy obviously can afford it, but still, that's still a million bucks. And this guy looks kind of like a jackass, you know, publicly. So, anyhow, guys, that'll be an entertaining little article to share. I know it wasn't a very long article, but it goes to show you a perfect example of some of the stuff I talk about. So, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.